Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sue Goody John. Thanks for joining me again today. It's 4th of July, so if you hear some big bangs in the background, then that's what that is. It's been one of those weeks. <laughs> and I thought I would share um, some painting that I did today to take my mind off of things that are going on. So uh, today we're gonna paint a nice dog that I met at work this week. Um, that's an uh, American Bulldog. Very cute. I find that painting sometimes will is really helpful for taking my mind off of things that are going on that you have no control over and that you just make you really sad and it gives you an out gives me an outlet anyway. Hopefully you guys are interested in this kind of content. Um, if you are, then please subscribe or press like um, just to let me know if I'm doing things right. And if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comments section. So we start with a pencil sketch. This is a small painting. It's about, oh four by six maybe on a um, a block that I made myself of watercolor paper. And this time I'm going over it with my um, Fude fountain pen to make the lines for the outlines. Just some real loose outlines. We don't want it to look too cartoony, but we want to give it a little bit of energy with the line quality. Um, the Fude pens are good for that because the nib is bent and so you get a lot of different variation in your lines. Um, now I'm putting in some washes of the brown colors on this dog and um, just starting with a light wash and then I'll add uh, more as we go. Um, usually we go from light to dark. So I start with the lightest areas. I'm leaving a lot of it white because this dog's got a lot of white on it. We're doing some minor shadow work. Um, and then just basically building up layers as we go. We do a layer and let it dry, work on a different part of the painting while that dries and then you can come back in with either the same color or a different darker color over top or even a lighter color. Um, some yellow over the brown to give it a little more vibrance and um, that way we build up some more dimension in the painting. This is going to be a pretty quick painting. I think it only took me maybe 30 minutes to do so I'm not being too precious about where I put things and and how careful I'm being with the shadows. If it if it were a bigger painting, it would work a lot slower and I maybe wouldn't do so much outlining initially just because I, I would want to build up more layers and, and it may take me, you know, two days to do it instead of 30 minutes. So, um, but this is a good, good exercise to loosen up and distract and um, get some practice in as far as how to lay on paint and how to get the washes that you want and still ha end up with a, a painting that's got some character and looks like the dog but maybe isn't quite as 
detail as a bigger, more slowly done painting. Sometimes these paintings have more energy to them. And, and we try not to layer too much on these because I don't want to overwork the colors. You get, they get kind of muddy if you keep uh, mixing them while they're wet. Here we're putting some detail on the eyes and the shadows in the ears. I'm using a little moon glow for the uh, shadows in the white part. It's a nice kind of light purpley color that I like to use for shadows because when it dries it doesn't dry, it doesn't dry too dark and it, it gives a nice kind of purpley shadowy look. And I come back in and darken the darks, the blacks, with uh, some ivory black and some uh, Payne's gray that I like to mix with it to make it dark. And then later on, I'll come back with a, uh, a ink pen. Um, I like the Pittman Bowes ink pens, it's Indian ink, that um, that then you can put more detail and and darken things up a little bit more. I love this dog's mouth and how how cute he was with his little pouty mouth. He was very worried. <laughs> but he did great and everything was good. I work at a veterinary hospital and I like sometimes to take pictures of my patients just because I get to see so many cute cutie pies and they're awful sweet sometimes. So here we're laying in a lot darker in the eyes to give it more expression. And in the ears, just to give more contrast. This is that pen I was talking about. And it comes on really dark, but then it dries lighter. And sometimes you can um, put a little bit of water over the top or mix it with a lighter pen. This is a lighter gray right there. And um, buffer it a little bit. It's nice to get, get a little more detail. And then here I'm coming in with... Uh, this is a, a Bic gel pen. Um, they have the Jelly Roll ones also that are white that are good for you putting highlights and um, areas that maybe didn't didn't save the white from the paper. So we're going to put in some with the pen to uh, pull out our reflections in the eyes and the whites of the eyes and maybe a little bit of reflection on the nose to... Um, give it a little more character and add a little life to the eyes here darkening just the little shadows where the eyelid comes over the eye to give it a little more depth and just the, the very end details of this quick drawing And then sign, sign the name and put the date and voila, it's done. And I feel much better after having a half hour of my mind being occupied by something fun instead of everything else that goes on. Thanks for watching. Take care.